So I want you to do the math. Up is down, black is white. It's like Trump used to do rally after rally. Now remember, Trump was a Democrat. Uh, Mitt Romney was a Democrat. Uh, Ronald Reagan was a Democrat. You know, I mean... But I used to go to rallies. I was so heavily involved in the action community in New York City for years and years and years and years. On the 9-11, how many, you know, I mean, we want to talk death from disease. How about the first responders after the fact, the people who went and cleaned up? And her name was who? Who was head of the APA under the bush? Christine Whitman? There's a terrorist. You want to talk a terrorist. You know she admitted that they doctored and cooked up the numbers on the monitors around after for a long time? She admitted it. How many people she murdered? <laughs> How many people that went in there died of cancer? Post. Speaking of that, so Trump used to do lecture after lecture after lecture about the Saudis. We need to go after the Saudi royal family. The Saudis did it. Now, there were five students detained on this campus when it happened. I was teaching here. I just came home. Our, our office was in the towers. We had 12 students in the towers from Weber State when it happened. Thank God they got them out and away. A kid named Brady Howe was going to school. He had been here at Weber. He, I think he was at the U when it happened. He was in the Pentagon. He was killed. So... The Saudis, we know, did it. I was a direct arbitrage specialist at the time. We knew they bought puts on the airlines. That had been identified by myself and others early. We knew where the money was. We're going to get them. We knew that it was the Saudi too big to jail. It's unarguable that the Saudis funded it. Now, you don't believe me? This is Trump's words. This is Congress's words. Unanimously passed the Solvent Wealth Act under the Obama administration to sue the Saudi royal family. In the United States, we passed a bill in 1976 that you cannot sue a, a sovereign wealth fund. What? Ford passed that? The 33 Mason? They're all 33 Masons. Masonic Party. What's the first political parties in the United States, kids? The Whigs? No. First two parties were the Masonic and the Anti-Masonic. Fact, Jack. So, they pass, Congress gets to work, Congress can't pass anything unanimously. This Congress, the Teabagger Congress of 2010 to 2018, their crowning jewel, their last bill they ever passed was to kill sea lions. Look it up. That's their answer to the salmon collapse. <laughs> can't be Fukushima. Earth boilers. Up is down, wrong is right, black is white. So now there are allies, Trump said this morning. Obama said there are, there are allies. The Saudis who behead people, the most repressive regime in the history of mankind, the Saudi, who? Rockefeller's baby? Oh, yeah. Rothschild's baby? Oh, yeah. Rosemary's baby? Russell's baby. The, it was not called Saudi Arabia until Standard Oil took it over with the United States military, the fascism. They took it over and created it for oil. Period. So they fly, they fund it, they fly, it's unarguable, it's proved, it's unarguable proof that they funded it. Not my words, Congress's words. Trump did rally after rally, you've got to go after the Saudi royal family, he used to go psycho on Bush, he used to go crazy on Bush. He would go psycho about it. He was all over this. Then he gets elected, DeWine is running, he's saying this. We have to, you know, not to mention he's going to release this file, so... This is important stuff. This is just this week, all this week. So, as you know, the oil capacity got droned. Oh, it's Iranian. Uh huh, sure it is. Lusitania. Uh huh. Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction. Uh huh, uh huh. You know, it's one narrative. How about the Gulf of Tonka? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Which is all admitted to be. I mean, it's insanity, Belushi. So, there he is right there. I got the camera on Belushi College Radio. John Belushi. Look it up. Animal House. Did we back down when the Germans freaking invaded Pearl Harbor? <laughs> Did we back down when Osama bin Laden flew the planes into 9-11? Did we back down when the Muslims killed the Kennedys? Did we back down when Iraq freaking got the Lusitania? Did we back down? I mean, this crazy freaking narrative that you fall for, even when it's proven. Saddam so Hussein had no weapons of mass. That's unarguable, freaking well-documented. UN, Vienna, I'll be there soon. 
A lot of work going to go down there. So this week, Saudi Arabia starts to enrich uranium. What? What? They, they can't have that. The IEA in Indiana has not approved it. They have not approved it. It has to be approved. Oh, he went to Jared. This gets leaked out while you're in shiny ballism. Snow job, snow job, and Putin and gang, freaking election stealing. Well, what about the Bush election? <laughs> These still elections, they do whatever they want. You don't care. Look at the freaking Bush election. That's all right. It doesn't matter if you're left or right, up or down, black or white. It has nothing to do with this. The unarguable fact is Bush stole the election. Operation Foxconn. Roger L., he's dead now. This is the Women League of Voters, everybody that came out, which was due out in September 2011. Oh, 9-11, that gift that keeps on giving. So Trump will used to go crazy. So they, Congress unanimously, Obama vetoes it. How many vetoes have been overrun, overturned? Not many. There are handfuls, each presidency. Oh, they overturned this veto of Barack Obama. I think it's the only one they overturned of his. I think he only had four or five. They overturned it. So you think about it, you had this teabagger Congress. Now this idiot who teaches named Ogden, who's teaching over here as an adjunct professor, he told me one day the only difference between FDR and Barack Obama is he had a Congress war. I says, you insane? Do you realize FDR signed, vetoed more bills than all other presidents can? I think he vetoed 600 and something. Are you that stupid and you're teaching here? This is the, well, the hijacking of the Weber State School business from number one to morons like that. His name's Ogden. Dumber than dirt. And I mean, I just had a conversation with the economic sociologist right here. Me and her just had a conversation. She wouldn't even talk to me. I said, what about Fukushima? You're the economic sociologist. You know, she'd tell me about that. I said, you want to talk Bear River? <laughs> when I grew up, the Bear River migratory bird ref was managed by my uncle, Jack Allen. She's quizzing me, and then I started quizzing her. She's just going at, well, what about the And I said, I boom, 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 just kicking them off. Then I started talking to her. So I says, oh, you, 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 you want to try me? Let me try you. Started asking her questions about this. Remember, Weber State gave Kerry Gibson the mega dairy draining under investigation, never went to get the presidential award for draining off the marsh. And she thinks she's all that. Pathetic is the word. That's what's happened to this school. So Barack Obama, Congress overrides. How did Barack Obama not sign more than a handful of vetoes when you had the Republican Congress. When you have opposition, of course you're going to have lots of vetoes. That's the way it works. <laughs> because he was the biggest fraud, the corporatist. He, he droned and killed more people than Bush. He was the bigger warmonger than them all. He went after environmentalists harder than anyone. He put Megan Rice in prison for life, an 85-year-old nun. He went after whistleblowers harder than anyone. What a fraud. Then comes Trump. He's going to release the John Kennedy file. Uh-huh. Sure he is. So get this. Four days ago, he throws a bone. Because these people are still suing in New York. It's a big case. Congress overturns the Obama veto. Almost unanimously. Now, Hillary Clinton, she didn't vote for it. She didn't show up. But two Utah, I think there was only, there was only a Mormon. I think only two senators voted against it out of 100. Harry Reid. Who says he got cancer from not growing up in the Nevada test site from his bracelet. The guy who not only, oh God, don't even get me going on that dude. The guy who legally made it okay to store nuclear waste on site at nuclear reactors illegally. Yeah, that guy. Chris Stewart, the Congress from here. Mormon Congress from Utah voted against overriding the veto in support of the Saudis. I think only eight out of what do we got, 355 congressmen? Excuse me, there's more than that. 455. So, this week, Trump, because he promised his campaign, promises, he says, I'm going to unleash this file. He promised those people. He promised those attorneys. These are New Yorkers. These are his neighbors. These are people he's involved with. This is his circle, Giuliani. Blow the towers while the men are in it. Go talk to a New York City fireman. Go talk to him. Go talk to him. Go talk to him about Giuliani. He's the most hated man in New York City Fire Department in history by billions of times. Go talk to him. Not my word. New York City, all of them. I have lots of connections there. So they override the veto. Trump's going after him. 
Trump gets elected, not only does he go over there like Obama did and befriend them, buddy, 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 with the beheaders, the most repressive regime on earth, he takes his women. His women are sitting. This is a regime that beheads women for literally looking at another person, for literally taking, showing more than their eyes. Most repressive regime to females in the history of humanity, bar none, to, to anybody. He goes after them. Then he's friends with them. This morning he called them our ally. Our ally. The people, the greatest attack on American soil in history, 9-11, done by the Saudis, funded by, well, unarguable, documented proof. Not my words, Trump sports. So four days ago, five days ago, he throws a bone, his campaign. He releases one of the names of the Saudi royal family that funded that has been retracted under the Patriot Act. So we're all fired up and get it. This is two days before the drones bombed the, you know, oil capacity. We get it. We look at it. We got FOIA document drivers who released it. He releases it. The name's retracted. What? What? Just like, oh, I'm going to release the Kennedy file. He gets it. Oh, after seeing the call, I can't release it. Just like Obama was going to release the whistleblower in Switzerland, came forward with all the American Swiss bank accounts. He leaked it to the United States government. Obama comes out in his first year and says, okay, we're going to give you one year to pay up your taxes and we will release it on January 2012, or January 1st, 2010. Does it release it? Nope. <laughs> New world order, no old world orders. Babylon, I like how they call it Illuminati. They don't illuminate. You make them illuminate. You turn them, they're elite. They're not elites. You just feed them. So now the Saudi Arabia, he went to Jared. It's reported that they get nuclear technology from the Trump administration. Illegally, illegally against United States law and international law. They announced this week that they're going to start enriching uranium. You get this one. After the bombing in the grandstanding gone here in the United States of these tankers bombed, we get the, what? What do we get? Saudi Arabia files with the UN, the IEA, a freaking wants a new symposium on the enrichment of uranium by the Iranians. Why they're doing it. Illegally. They've not been given permission by no one. Trump gave it to them. They're just doing it. It's against international law. Now, this is important because ICANN makes me want to puke. This whole narrative that some guy, ICANN, and these so-called anti-nuclear organizations, plowshares, Kevin Camps, all these, they're frauds. They're funded by the nuclear industry. I can prove it. Oh, we're against the nuclear bomb, but for nuclear energy. <laughs> Which come first, the chicken or the egg? Want, they're the same thing. They're paid to do that. This compromises kill this Diablo Canyon. Friends of the Earth, oh, they've murdered us. So, I mean, it makes me sick. I'll be in Austria. So the first symposium has been in the last couple of years in Austria, which everybody. So right now the general council is meeting. I'm not there. I wish I was. But I, I only got so much money. I had to get my plane ticket for a certain day. I, I want to make the best bung for my buck. I got to have a place to stay. It costs money. So I get to Munich on the 22nd. Now, I don't know how I ended up with Munich because, I mean, I, I had a voucher that I had and United says there's no flights to Vienna all blah 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 they found one so I'll just take the train might go up to Denmark I don't know because why Denmark they're the most anti-nuclear people in the world next to the Austrians so at the UN the IAA so all these conferences are happening through the whole month of October they're really important conferences and so the people, grassroots, not the grand standards at the top, like the Trumps and the Obamas, at the grassroots. The people who make decisions are going to be there. That's where I'll make my difference. I'm organizing with Austrian activists, with German activists. It's going to be, you know, there's a lot going on. Multiple different groups. There, we're going to be doing a lot of good stuff. And I'm going to be there, representing, you know, all us cancer fighters, the people that I just showed you, the people like Dave. You know, I hope he could do some more. You know, he's got the spotlight now. You know, he's a survivor. And I'm a big person. If you survive, you better give back. That's all I got to say. You better give back. You know, the great Ernie Davis dies of AML leukemia in that day. Changed the world. Oh, yeah. People like that. Does it take death? I don't know. Now it doesn't even work with death. So he releases, throws him a bone, a camp, and there's nothing in it. I, I read it. There's nothing there. There's no names there. We know they're the Saudis. These are Trump's words. Now he calls them our allies. 
We're dapping up to go to war with freaking Iraq. Now, I'll give it to Trump. He backed it out last time. He fired Bolton. You know, that warmonger, how the hell did he end up there? I thought, you know, Trump was the anti-Bush guy, remember? Remember when he was a Democrat and he was the anti-Bush guy? He was the anti and that's all he ever did. He was anti-Bush, anti-Bush, anti-Bush. Then he names Kavanaugh, the Bush guy. Who's Kavanaugh? Kavanaugh was the young attorney who orchestrated the theft of the election. He's the Florida canvas guy. He's the guy. He was the attorney who was with Bush on, by his side at 9-11 the whole time. Inside the White House, that's him. That's who? That's your Supreme Court justice nominee who was nominated. Why? Because when Stevens retired, his son, who's friends with Trump's son, who are buddies, what, Deutsche in Germany, the bank, Bayer Monsanto, Germany, you know, Trump's father, from German, no, he says that, but no, he wasn't, but he might as well be. <laughs> Same old theme, 1916. You know, the English royal family, they're not English. The Russian royal family, they're not English. The Saudi royal family, they're not Arabs. They're the same family from Germany. Look it up. We knew this when we taught World War I and World War II. I mean, World War I, what, right here? The Brownings? Black hand kills him, the chief, in, you know, the king from Vienna? In Sarajevo with a brownie gun? They never made a gun here. There will be no war profiteering like there was in World War I, World War II. That's my article sitting next to FDR when he made that. He used to be here all the time. He's going right at the brownie family. World War I. We knew it was one family who controlled the world, that led up to World War I. We fought two World Wars, anti-imperialism. FDR. There'll be no monarchies after this. FDR of Junior's book. He says, I used to spend a lot of time with my dad and Churchill when he moved into the White House. Churchill wasted all the time. Well, you know, Winston, when this war is over, there'll be no monarchies. None. The Atlanta Conference, that's it. Zero. Well, you're flying right in the face of Mother Old England. He says, I got to tell you, Winston, I went to London when I was an 11-year-old boy. I saw Queen Victoria. I hated the old witch. There's nothing quite essentially more American to hate the freaking monarchy. We hate them. That's how we formed this country. Well, I know. If I don't play along with you, we're going to go down the same way our cousins did in Russia. The bullet. I want you to look up the DNA swap of the 1990s of the Romanov royal family, the Tsars, in Russia. They got the DNA out of the pile. Remember when the woman from Virginia lied that she was Anastasia the whole time, and PBS did the thing, and she was lying the whole time. So they did an international study, the heir to their mom, because they're still entitled to it. A kid that delivered pizza from Chicago is living in Russia, one of the monarchs now, maybe Edward Snowjob, who knows? His mother was Russian, I believe. So was, I mean, all these folks. So was Jill Putin Stein's father, KGB Russian. That's how they got here. Who's the heir? Look it up. Just Google. Who's the closest match? Prince Harry. You heard me right, Prince Harry. Who's the heir to the Japanese Hirohito Empire? Yoko Ono. Up is down, black is white, wrong is right. I thought to be a Dadaist, you had to be anti-imperialist. I thought you had to be anti-war. I thought you had to be anti-monarch. I thought you had to be poor. Avant-garde to the moon. The Russian billionaires to the oldest monarchy on earth is called the Chrysanthemum Empire. The Japanese, what? They're not Japanese? They're Chinese. After everything they did to the China, yeah, that's the same here, here. This imperialism, these wannabe monarchs attack their own people all day, every day. So now the 9 11 terrorists were Saudis. Freaking 16 of the 19 were Saudis. Muhammad Atta was Egyptian. They were all Saudis, funded by the Saudi government, unarguable, not my words, Congress's words, the sovereign wealth, freaking the lawsuits are flying right here, right now. Now they're our allies. 20 years of boogeyman chasing. Went off to Afghanistan to kill the Taliban. I thought we went to get Bin Laden. We're still there. Well, I can name one right here. We, you know, we have the big propaganda here for the North Ogden Mire. I knew Brent Taylor. Look at the propaganda for him. He should have never died. He should have never been there. This wars that's not a war. It's not even an occupation. It's colonialism. But the so-called Illuminate, they're not Illuminate. They don't Illuminate. The old world order, they don't even have to have a military now. The United States will do it for them. 
This is right out of the Grubel playbook. This is right out of the freaking Orwell. Keep telling them the exact opposite they'll believe. Up is down, black is right, wrong is right. So now not at the biggest terrorist in American history, the greatest repressive society, the biggest evils nation to the United States in history. Saudi Arabia. Now we're going to go to war for them. We're going to support them. Oh, well, we already do. <laughs> you know how much military might we have there protecting these people? These are the people that flew the planes into the towers and killed them. It's unarguable. They funded it. They'll admit it. They lie. The billionaires.